Hey everybody, Coach Roz here from fitnessbusinessmastery.com with another training. And this topic is three main objections that all personal trainers are going to encounter when selling. So the first objection is, I can't afford it. Now we all are gonna get this, and when you're sitting down, whether you're doing a big orientation or you're doing a one-on-one -on -one consultation, as a selling personal trainer, how do you handle this? See, I've heard this a thousand times. Now this is how you uncover if this is truly the objection. Number one, you ask Mr. or Mrs. Jones, Mr. or Mrs. Jones, truly, is it the price that you're having a trouble with or is it something else? Are you not the person that's gonna make the decision? Either or it doesn't bother, I just wanna make sure that I'm helping you make the right decision today. See, when selling, I want you to think about being empathetic because we're all in a situation at times where money becomes an objection, right? Whether, whether you walk into a store and someone says, can I help you? And the first thing you say is no. Even though you're there for a reason, you want to actually purchase something, you don't wanna get pushy. And what I wanna share with you is you can't do that when selling. You wanna be empathetic. Objection number two, I need to think it over. What does this really mean? See, as the selling professional that we are, we have to ask ourselves, did we do a good enough job in actually uncovering the pain and sharing the solution? See, if you have uncovered the pain, all you have to do to handle this objection is reiterate it. And I'm gonna share with you. Mrs. Jones, let me ask you this. You told me that you wanted to lose 30 pounds, you were struggling with losing weight for the last five years, and you don't like the way you look in your clothes. Is that right, Mrs. Jones? So if that's right, and I can show you how to overcome all three of those objections in the next 12 weeks, wouldn't it be smart that we get you started today? Yes, Roz, absolutely. So Mrs. Jones, let me ask you, what do you need to think over? If, there's, if I've done a great job, are there any answers or any questions I can help you with right now to help you make a decision to get you started? All you wanna do is uncover what the true objection is and then overcome it with a question. Once you do that, reiterate the pain and move them forward and ask for the close. Always ask for the sale. Mrs. Jones, can I get you started today? That's very important. Objection number three, and you're gonna hear this. I need to talk it over with my husband, my boyfriend, my girl, the dog that lives downstairs. What I can share with you is this is called a stall. What happens when someone gives this is they're not the decision maker or they're not ready to make a decision. So what you have to do is find out which that is. Is it truly they can't make a decision with their husband or spouse? Very important. And here's how I deal with that. Mrs. Jones, I totally understand. I'm a married man. I don't make many decisions without talking it over with my wife as well. But let me ask you, let me put you on the schedule for an appointment. We can follow up. You can bring your husband or your wife with you and we can sit down and discuss this as a group. How does that sound? So now I just alleviated that objection, set the appointment, and I can continue the sale. That's one way to do it. But here's what might happen also. You ask them the question of, oh, and they say, oh, I don't wanna schedule another appointment. What has happened here? You've just uncovered that you haven't done a great job in your presentation. So what I do is step back and say, Mrs. Jones, I got a question for you. Did I not answer all your questions to solidify the fact that we are the best solution for your pain? And if that's the case, I understand. How can I move you closer to take, making a yes today? And if they say, oh, well, you know what, Raj, you've done a great job, I just need to think it over a little bit more, or I need to talk it over with my husband. I totally understand that, Mrs. Jones. Let me ask you this, though. If you could get started today, and, you, and what do you think your husband would say? Okay, does he have your best interest at hand? Yes, of course. So it's obvious that you're just gonna go talk it over, tell him why you feel this is the best option for you, and we're gonna get you started next week. Isn't that correct, Mrs. Jones? See, what I did is I just installed a embedded command in the prospect's mind to let them know that they've already said yes, so they don't wanna go back on their word. All I gotta do is solidify this appointment and move that forward. I don't believe in being pushy. I don't believe in making someone feel uncomfortable, but I will give them the information they need so that they can make an educated decision. Either it's a yes or a no, either way I'm fine with it, and I want you to see the same thing. Because we're not pushy salesmen, we're the type of people that are empathetic, we're auditioning, and we're interviewing, we're not being pushy salesmen. And those were the three objections that every personal trainer will encounter if they're selling and if they're trying to make an impact in their local community. I'm Coach Roz from fitnessbusinessmastery.com. If you wanna get a full training, head over to my website, get the invisible interview. This is an 11 minute interview process that's gonna teach you exactly how to have clients begging to become your client and you won't have to beg and you will not have to sell anymore. I'll see you over there. Have a great day. Take care.